Hi guys, welcome. There is a new Arco install out. One of the things I've done on my machine here is install minus s arch install. The only reason it's here because when I get an update in, I say, oh, there's a new release. Why is this important? The Arco install ISO is based on the arch install scripts, but the only thing, and it's important that you know, the only thing we change is the Lego blocks. What if you want GNOME, then we want this. If we want ChatWM, then we want that. All the information you can find about Arco install is gonna be on arconexb.com, right? That's the thing. <laughs> Here it is, Arco install, right? It's just that when things happen, when things go wrong, you need to go to the Arconix, well, to this website, let's just go to it. So to github.com, it's easy to remember. Arch Linux, Arch Linux, and then Arch install. As you see, it's already there. And let's get rid of that. That's it, right? This is where we get the code. Those guys are the developers and we beat that tester code and we help them improve it. That's our job, but nothing more. What we've done is just change a few things. Arch install has a folder. In there are default profiles and in there are desktops. What we pick for awesome is a bit longer than what they pick. We put we put Arcolinx stuff in there, right? Arcolinx configuration. So that's the thing that we do. All right, without further ado, what did I do? Just by way of test, AAG, we have this beautiful application is basically a tutorial how to create an app like this i've clicked on the button create me an arco install iso and then you get an iso all right arco install out and that's the one of today the one that's on the seat host website is the one from yesterday we've been testing it all yesterday and today right all morning and that one is online. This one is a test to see if AJ is still working. So let's install our test. There's nothing new, of course. It stays the same approach. It's an arch boot up, meaning it's a black thing. So if you're not ready yet for a black thing, that's okay. There is Calamaris, a GUI to set things up. But each time we'll make a video and each time I'll test something else. And uh, voila, maybe you can say, why not use Arch as base? And why not use Arco install as base? Because then of course you get this feeling, the soul, the design of Arco Linux. It's just a different way of installing and we've chosen pretty much the same Lego blocks or packages, but yeah, choices, right? And that's the fun in Linux. You can choose so many distros, BE. It's for me, you don't need to do that. I have aliases and alias BEs, load keys, BE letters, more or less in the middle. And arch is another one, right? Arch. And off we go. So arch is basically arch uh, install advanced. And now it's just, yeah, routine in by this time because I've done it so many times. So it's for me a quick, way of installing these days i always go to sweden osbeck was a bit sick lately but okay that's something about computers right they get sick <laughs> and then you switch so swap the one swap so no bootloader sure system d and here i start again by typing a user account yes please confirm profile and here is the difference right this is the difference between the arch linux iso this is our choice for awesome this is our choice for bspwm this is our choice for budgie beautiful by the way I just changed carly to budgie chatwm etc right i have to choose something there are a few things that we've not changed also important maybe to say cute fish not working not changed it deeping not working well always partly over the last eight years so oh yeah why not dk graphics drivers in this case virtual box doesn't matter but we can also make it clear that we want to install a virtual box like this 
then only those packages will be installed. Sound sure, kernels never mind. The Linux kernel is great. Time zone Brussels. And that's it. And off it goes. And let's uh, see. It's now 5 minutes 18 in the timer of simple screen recorder. It doesn't take that long to get everything up and running. It's incredibly fast. Depending on where you live, not uh, of course, and uh, depending on, on how much uh, you pay for your internet. Um, yeah, there are people who have fiber just straight to their door. Sure, <laughs> you get better results than me. While this is doing its job, let's see if we can uh, do have a close it already. Yeah, so here, so have a look around. Uh, is it possible to adapt Arch install to automate installation of Arclex with the Arclex configuration? Our Lego blocks? Sure, there is no Calamari, so it's a black screen. Maybe eh? you're not up for that. Arco install is a project based on Arch installs. So it's Important to know that you should make an account if you want to report something that's not working on Arco install. But it's, it's basically an issue with Arch install. These guys need to know, right? And the new update is interesting to have a look. There's a lot of stuff happened in the difference of the 3.01 and the 3.02. All of these changes have been merged and changed, etc. etc. So all of this is either working or it's not and now we should report it and gradually we get an arch install that's just gonna be awesome so this is our place on the internet this is where you can build our settings and the only difference like i said is the default profile here let's take a look awesome our awesome looks a bit longer we do want to have firefox already and git and all these things these are just choices that means if you fork this thing, you have your own place on the internet, your own GitHub account. So if you fork this, you can delete whatever you want to delete and build your own Arco install ISO. There are so many possibilities on Linux, right? It is not Windows, definitely not. <laughs> so here's information, we should build everything the difference between Arco install and Arch install is this. Not only choose do we choose different packages, but we have more choices, right? Yes, they're all tiling window managers and chat WM, DK, Dusk, w, DWM. Because yeah, that's um, something we do. So 27 desktops slash tiling window managers to choose from. And you can download from here. Let's see if it's uh, going on. Still building. Oh, already done. So I said five minutes or something. It's now 8.27. So let's say three minutes, three, four minutes, and your installation is done. Right? It's super, super fast. Well, anyway, for me. Like I said, it depends where you live. This is system deboot. There's grub, there are uh, oh, EFI stuff, and the other one, the name of the other one escapes me, but there's, uh, I've made videos about that. So here we are, DK. Once I type Eric, I hope I get my BE. If not, it's always, uh, there was BE up there. And we have this as a look. We have the variety up there to change things to something nice. I do have Ctrl-Alt. This is VirtualBox, VirtualBox on PyCam today. Mm -mm. So Ctrl-Alt-O, I kill PyCam. That's the Ctrl-Alt-O switch, All right? And then we uh, press Super Shift Enter, Super Q, Super, let's do maybe another wallpaper. VAR is a command we can still type. It basically overrides your variety configuration and it will get it from somewhere else. So you kill variety and then Alt N and get another wallpaper in. Or maybe better, 
log out. Oh, there it is already. Let's log out anyway. And we have variety kicking in. The fishies are there. And gradually, voila. That's an, an wallpaper that's not from us, nor is this one. And we have a beautiful system. Change background. <laughs> I forgot. We got this as well here. <laughs> Some icons. Right, Firefox, Discord, Telegram. And I think that one is Minstick if it's installed. So it's still, oh, there he is. It's still an, um, a system. So remember the PyCam, so Control Alt O, kill it. And uh, if it's bothering you, if there's something strange going on, on VirtualBox. Not on real metal, never on real metal, only on virtual box. And you just update your system, and we see we have more than NeoFetch, we have more than the Arconix repos. Uh, sorry, more than Arconix repos, we have the Arconix repos. So pseudo Pacman minus remove. What did we do? We got these Lego blocks in. Too much for you, pseudo Pacman minus R, and start removing everything or installing everything because it's all available right 322 packages that's it well there's a new iso to play around with to test with there are differences between calamars calamars can't do some some things can't set up uh, yeah, different well like lvm for example and so yeah there are things that um, might be interesting for you if you could start with the Arco install or the Arch Linux ISO, right? But okay, up to you. Cheers.